Hey there. Well, I've recently gotten a few questions regarding those Facebook ads. You know, the ones like, for instance, you happen to be on a particular site, maybe you're, you're on Nordstrom or whatever, and you take a look at a dress and you're like, oh, this is cute. Let me put it in my shopping cart. And so you do. And you're like, nah, I'll go back to it. So you go back to your Facebook page and lo and behold, guess what's in your news feed? That's right, an ad from Nordstrom's. And what are they promoting? That dress. So I'm going to show you how to change your Facebook settings. The first thing we're going to do is go to your Facebook profile. In the upper right, you're going to see this black diamond. Click on that. Scroll down to settings. And then over here on the left, you're going to see something called ads. There's like a little Facebook icon. So click on ads. Now you're going to get to your ad preferences page. And the first thing I want you to do is go to your ad settings. And there are three different sections in here. Let's go to the first one. These are ads based on your use of websites and apps. So like I mentioned before, if you're going to a particular place online and now they're sending you ads, well, we can turn that off right here. And that is actually called interest-based ads. Okay, so what you want to do is go down here. Instead of show online interest-based ads, you want to switch that to off. Okay, that way they're not going to be finding all these ads just because you happen to look at a particular thing on Amazon. All right, you can read more about Digital Advertising Alliance, which is the big ad network, um, by clicking on this. If you so are so inclined, it's uh, pretty dry reading them. Uh, the next thing I want you to do is ads on apps and websites off of the Facebook companies. Okay, so this is when you're on different devices or connected TVs. You really don't want to see ads just because you happen to be, again, you know, perusing something on Amazon or whatever. So again, go down here, turn that off. The last section I want you to do is ads with your social actions. Who can see your social actions paired with ads? No one. Okay, so for example, so let's suppose I am interested in this Jasper's Market fruit and vegetable store. I don't know. This is just made up. Okay, so people want to know what their friends like, and you can read all about this. But this is something where you can say, do not include my social actions in anything. Don't don't use that as a way to send me ads. Just because my friend of mine likes to bake cakes doesn't necessarily mean that I really want to see ads about baking cakes. I just happen to like the post that she had. All right, so here's what you want to do. You want to go down there and click no one. All right, the last thing, you can go through and read this, but the last thing I want you to do before we sign off is I want you to go to your interests. Okay, so now I'm clicking on mine, and if you go through the different categories, you'll see all the stuff. So what you can do here is, yeah, I'm a big Etsy addict, I know. Um, but for instance, okay, so here's something, uh, candles. Let me see, I, I do like a good scent of candles. So see example ads. You can go through and decide whether you are still interested in candles and do I really want to see these kind of ads. Now, I don't really care about that anymore, so I'm actually going to scroll over that and click this X. You can just go through stuff. I don't know why Axe Brand is on this. Uh, Got to be for my son. All right. <laughs> um, anything about women? I don't know. Just go through your things. News and entertainment. I'm not into video games. I don't want to see anything about that. I like me a good HGTV. So sure, show me some, show me some ads on that. Uh, I do like to use Map My Run. I love 12 Tomatoes. So you know what? I'm going to just go through this and decide what I like and don't like. And if I'm not interested in it anymore, I'm just going to get, you know, click out of it. All right. So I hope that helps you kind of wrangle your Facebook ads and understand why you're seeing the ads that you're seeing. And no, Facebook is not lurking over your computer staring at you. Okay. Go to askthetechlady.com and there you can post any questions you might have. And I'll get back to you either in a written blog or in a video. Okay. Have an awesome day.